something that means you need to think wisely you need to think both positive aspects and negative aspects of anything you are hearing or you are reading so when you read a text you need to judge the text sorry judge the text based on your understanding you need to ask a lot of questions why the text is like this why the author the writer is writing like this or if you listen to somebody you can uh, ask yourself questions why he or she is saying like this is it true should i believe it okay so all these aspects will trigger all these questions will trigger your brain to think critically to make a good judgment of something before you take a decision so what is critical thinking i told you already that it is the analysis of the facts to form a judgment so to create a decision to make a judgment before that you need to analyze the facts the information you have about something why because sometimes the subject is so complex it is debatable okay so for example going for exercise during coronavirus time is good or bad should we do that or no so some people can say we should go out just for once maybe like england they're saying okay we can go outside just for one type of exercise in the park or in the road but other people will say that no we should not go out at all during coronavirus time so before coming to a conclusion you should ask yourself lots of questions why these people are saying that way why those people are saying in different way what will be your decision your judgment okay this is like being informed gather knowledge and being informed then take a decision so here are two definitions that you see as you see one is from wikipedia another one is from university of sussex so according to university of sussex it is a way of thinking understanding uh, expressing ourselves and in academic argument academic means study higher education in academia so ideas are organized into a line of reasoning so there are a number of reasoning number of arguments so we, if we read critically we can actually understand the arguments behind the text so why thinking critically why there are a number of options i have already mentioned in my slides so you can see from here again if you want i'm holding for a few seconds okay now uh, i'm telling from the slide why critical thinking as i told you to gather knowledge to understand a text to get information to understand writer's position what is writer's position is the writer's position positive or negative or something else he wants to say or to evaluate the argument maybe the writer has given an argument a logic but you do not like it or you can like it but now you have to say how is the argument is the argument strong enough so you need to evaluate the argument and sometimes the writers are biased right people can be biased judgmental so we need to check out and then you need to make informed judgment based on your critical thinking and then you need to write in your exams, in your research paper, in your articles, anything you write, you need to write it argumentatively. That means with lots of logics, reasoning. Even if you speak like in debate, you have to give the arguments why you're saying like this. So here are some critical questions. You need to ask yourself, you need to ask yourself, okay, can you see? 
what questions, why questions, where questions, whom, how. So if you ask yourself questions like this, there are six critical questions. You can get information. You can get further information about the thing. So these are the things. And then now we are turning to critical thinking skills. So in different way we can ask, but what are the skills we are developing while critical thinking, thinking critically? So in this slide, in this slide, if you look at this slide, I have sent already, uh, you can see a number of skills you can uh you can develop some skills in yourself while critical thinking you need to develop these skills these skills are reasoning reasoning means giving some arguments you need to reason out why you have taken some decision then evaluating evaluating the text for example a reading text how it is what are the arguments they have developed what are the reasons they have developed and then you need to solve a problem actually why we read why we listen to something because we want to get an answer of some questions get answers of some questions that is actually we want to solve some problem this is one type of problem that i have a question that is a problem so i need an answer of this and that's why we need to uh think critically to solve problem and then we need to analyze the text or any lectures to make a decision to come to a conclusion and here you can see critical reading and writing so in academia that means in your masters you need to read a text for example the article i have sent to you you have to read it critically you can get information from here but sometimes you can say i do not agree with the writer because i have some different information in my brain from my prior knowledge maybe and then when you write something an answer of a question or your ma thesis you need to write them critically that means you need to be aware of positive sides negative sides I mean aspects of something and then give your logic and give your decision and that's why how can you read critically there is a map for you okay so it's like you need to understand the writer's stance I mean writer's position uh, then uh, criticism here then prediction and solution self-reflections you can ask lots of questions you can also look at the date and relevance for example if you do ma research you need to read a number of articles then you have to judge whether the article is updated enough if it is from 1990 it is really backdated in terms of technology or other topic but if it is really 2017 2015 even 2010 you can say it is updated so i can use this and then you need to see whether this article is relevant to you okay so all these skills actually you need to develop in yourself to read something critically now teaching critical thinking so as students i mean teacher students because you are going to be teachers maybe for example i mean if you do the course TESOL, teaching english to speakers of other languages that means your aim is to be a teacher so if you are a teacher you are not you, know, you are now learning how to be a good teacher so to be a good teacher you need to understand what is critical thinking and then you need to understand how to teach critical thinking among your students okay 
That's why we are now focusing on how to teach critical thinking. So again, this is the model to generate critical thinking. So among your students, you can ask this question. So you can give them a text to read, then you can ask them lots of questions like, who is the writer? Who is the protagonist here? I mean, the hero, where is the setting? Why it is like this? How you come to a conclusion? What is your decision? So one aspect of critical thinking is problem solving. Problem solving. So problem solving is not just mathematics. It can be in literature, in language. Okay, so if they have any questions, they need to write the answer, right? It can be MCQ questions, it can be short answer questions or broad questions. So these are actually one type of problems they need to make answer of them. And that's why this is also called problem solving. So question is one type of problem. So give them some problems, I mean, some activities to the students, then ask them to think about it, whatever, the knowledge they have and then ask them to come to the conclusion that is the solution another uh, another aspect of critical thinking is actually creative thinking and to create something so here we can see bloom's taxonomy so according to bloom's taxonomy how we learn we actually learn by remembering what we know about the topic and then we try to understand the topic and then we try to analyze the topic, evaluate what are the arguments there and finally we come to a conclusion, that is my creation. Even for research work, you need to read a lot of articles, then analyze them, then evaluate them, then finally you will give some recommendations based on your findings so these are your creation so you are actually creating knowledge so in that sense critical thinking is also creating knowledge thinking creatively and creating something so you can teach your students this ladder of bloom's taxonomy And the last slide is about methods of developing critical thinking, uh, critical thinking skills. I have already shared an article with you, the article uh, of critical thinking, teaching critical thinking skills and problem solving skills by Cinder and Cinder, 2008. So if you read the article, you can learn some ideas about critical thinking and how to solve problems. So there are some models. So according to this article, uh, first the writer, uh, I mean the teacher can model something, how to think critically, and then question the students, a lot of questions, when, why, how, and then guiding the students to practice this critical thinking. So I'll ask you to please read it at home because we are in coronavirus pandemic time we cannot go to the classroom so we cannot do actually the pair work or group work.